you know, I, I look at some of the houses or, or small, small duplexes I own and hear from the tenants maybe once a year. They keep it immaculate. You know, they take care of it like it's, it's like it's their own house. So often what people tout as the advantages of multifamily are also negatives. And uh, it's more <laughs> around selling something than it is reality, right? There's a pros and cons to everything. I look at some of these houses and, and it's just, it is actually passive. And so going forward, you know, I mentioned I, I'm having a couple duplexes built just to keep asset class. Sure, they're, they're ground up, but they're, I mean, these are infill lots and, and building a house or a duplex is so simple. It's a box with some infrastructure. Um, and so I like buildings that are younger than me that are in B plus or better areas where I can have tenants that at least have a 700 credit score. Because my experience has been that I have no problems with that demographic. So for buy and hold, that's more of what I'm, I'm, I'm interested in. And especially going forward, when I think about where I want to put my time, it's got to be either new or very new and very, very nice. Or I don't want to touch it. You know, I'm from Cleveland. Don't want to touch anything back there in the Cleveland Metro. Uh, old buildings, poor tenants, terrible weather, that sort of thing. Not interested. You can make a lot of money doing that. That's just not what I want to do. 